Spurrier, Larry Ellison loves InfiniBand. I want to talk about InfiniBand uh, for a minute. Isn't he, InfiniBand dead, Dave? We no, were talking about Raid no, dead, tapes Infiniband dead, InfiniBand. Is, you know, I remember people. Used I remember to say, talking about InfiniBand a decade ago. I remember people used to say, "Oh, TCP/IP, old reliable TCP/IP. Look at it now." Right? Doesn't so, Sun use InfiniBand? <laughs> Sun uses InfiniBand. So, Larry Ellison loves InfiniBand. And, you know, I think that you know Larry has these these expert technology guys around the world and they give him advice and you know he's a pretty hands-on technical guy Larry is right he's he's pretty micromanager type and you know along the way he fell in love with InfiniBand and people say well you know Oracle has this big stack they don't have networking well his networking is InfiniBand so the whole world seems to be going to these appliances they're selling gobs and gobs of exadata the exologic uh, you know, cloud in the God box, right, is all InfiniBand inside there. So super low latencies, you know, server to server communications and server to disk communications all inside the appliance, InfiniBand, very high speed, loves it. And the technology underneath all that is from Mellanox. So Mellanox is carving out this business model much in the same way that Emulax. Carving out a business model around Larry's money. <laughs> well, but so they, they sell to others, right? They, I think they, they sell to Teradata they do. And, and others. And so, so Larry upped his investment in Mellanox to, I think, 10%. So now Larry's got a pretty strong interest in Mellanox and maybe at some point a controlling interest. People think maybe he buys the company. So what do you make of that? I think, I think it's actually pretty interesting. I would agree with you. When I talk to customers, there are kind of two spectrums of data in their environment. There's the high-end data that, that, especially in the large enterprises, where my business is built around this. So high performance, database, data crunching, data computing models, that type of thing. It's almost like, I call it, I call it the, uh, the IT pendulum, right? We've gone from mainframe to open systems, and now we're going back to these appliances that, and I don't want to say we're, we're fully going back, but, but appliances, almost mainframe, like single standalone systems, like the Exadata appliance that I can do high transactional processing for my business environment, it's protected, it's safe, it's high performance, and that gives me my competitive edge, right? So it's no doubt that with, given Sun's investment in uh, InfiniBand in the past and their support of InfiniBand, and like you said, Larry's very technical guys, right? Helping to build high speed, high performance, stay ahead of that curve in the database space, right? Is very, very important to him. And uh, you know, I, I've always thought InfiniBand would be, a, would be a, a great component of technology, but again, it comes back down to this, um, this investment model. Model, right, I got to do stuff. I got to balance performance with with cost in, in, in my environment. Right, so while you know, while as a Veritas product manager of VCS, communication between the two nodes, the two nodes that you were using for high availability was was critical. You were using TCP/IP to manage that. Right, and we always said, well, if you could be faster, you can make better decisions in in, in more real time. Right, uh, th the adoption of that at the end user level never came out to be uh, such that you would do that, but built into these appliances, it makes a lot of sense. So if you can control it, you can con control costs, and, and you see what Larry's doing, yeah. it's a yeah. smart move. And, and you're, so you're seeing InfiniBand move <clears throat> from the domain of high performance computing, HPC, into more mainstream. We talked to Isilon, Isilon talks about, you know, it's got a traditional base and very high end, but it's, you know, it's selling more into insurance companies and banks and financial services and so forth. And so we're starting to see InfiniBand go mainstream. And here's the thing that's interesting to me. There's not a lot of competition out there. You got Mellanox, and then you got Voltaire, who's basically super glued itself and built around uh, Mellanox, right? So Voltaire is essentially Mellanox, but this do they've done really well from a stock perspective, but you know, I don't know what, what the legs are. That essentially is Mellanox. And you got QLogic. Now QLogic has been behind in terms of InfiniBand market share, but they've got you know some resources. And they've got a customer base. And they got a customer base. They do now here's the thing. If, if I'm a, a competitor of Ellison's, what does Ellison want to do to me? He wants to squash me. He now owns 10%. Has he done that before? <laughs> right. You see what he's doing with the SAP? He just, he just wants to destroy you. So he's now got 10% of a key technology that you rely upon. So you should probably think about finding second sources of your InfiniBand supply. Duh. So that's kind of interesting. And the other thing is if somebody tries to buy Mellanox, he can block them. Right? He's got 10% of the company. But, so. I, but I, I agree. But I don't think he'd ever want to own them. 
Although I think we said that about Son and look at him now. Well, he so. might want to own him just to screw his competition and then just own all the Infiniband yeah, stuff. Yeah, you can do that be, by being the 10% owner too. Yeah. But I think, I think your advice is right on. I think uh, folks that have been relying on that technology that want to have you know, multi-source and, and make sure that they're safe and they have better control over their pricing and that sort of thing ought to look at a second source. And Q is the, is the second well, source. Well, plus, if he owns 10% of it, I, I guarantee that he's going to get the advanced you know, discussions and the plans. And his stuff's just going to work a little bit better than the other guy from an know? integration standpoint yeah. that's 